I have just bought the cheapest running car with MOT from Auto Trader. But before I reveal this car to you, let me show you how I got it. So I set myself another challenge to find the cheapest working car I could find on Auto Trader. And after hours of scrolling, I started to think that this might not be possible. There was loads of cars available, but most of them were under £500 and they were either spares or repairs or MOT failures, which is no good for me. Until a few days later, I found this. This car runs and drives, has a valid MOT, but it does need a couple of bits to get it through its next MOT. So we set off to go and take a look, and after an hour and a half drive to Manchester, it was time to see the car. And after a good look round and a quick test drive, it was clear that this car had one major issue, but I took the risk. So here is the new car. So here it is, this is my 2007 Mark V Golf GT TDI. That was an absolute mouthful, but here is the new car. I am so happy with it. So this is actually a PD140 engine and it is on 166,000 miles. So as you can see on the trip there, I have actually done 400 miles now in a couple of days and this car has not let me down once. So as I said, this is the 2 litre TDI and it is a PD140 engine. Now, if you guys can remember in Jesse's swapping series, he actually had one of these cars, the exact same, and I absolutely loved it. I was always stealing it and driving it and this came up and I could not say no. The interior is pretty clean. Overall, I'd say this is actually a quite good condition car. The sills, I've got a tiny bit of rust, but nothing major. We've got a tiny bit of rust around the boot, but overall, I really wouldn't say it's in bad condition. Now we do have a couple of issues. So I can unlock the car passenger door won't open however this is just an electronic fault as you can see this car is super spacious which is exactly what i needed now i absolutely love this car i feel like i'm driving a car and not a tin can anymore it's five door it's practical and it's diesel which means it is incredible on fuel there are some things i'd like to change i want to put a gti bumper on it i want to change the wheels and i think we're going to get it remapped also, this car is slightly 50 shades of silver. This door is definitely a different colour. Okay, so let's get on to how much I paid for this car. This car cost me £500, which at the time of purchasing, that was the cheapest GT TDI on Auto Trader. It runs and drives, it has an MOT, and it only needs a couple of bits to get it through its next MOT. So the main issue with the car, I will show you when I take this for a drive in a second. This is the thing that needs sorting ASAP because it is terrible. But that is pretty much it. I need to have a look at the electronics on this side um, because the passenger door doesn't open. Um, and there's just a few little niggly bits. It hasn't been looked after. It needs a service. So I've got a couple of bits to do. But with this car, I mainly want to modify it. So... Obviously, because of the Fiesta, I couldn't really modify it. It was three door. It was tiny. Um, it didn't have any poke. I just felt like it just didn't feel right. It was so slow and I felt like a 17 year old and I'm certainly not anymore. So, yeah, you guys know how much I love Jesse's Golf. So I think it's time I have a daily that I can have a bit of fun with. So I've already got a couple of modifications for this car. So the aim with this car is to make it into a bit of a GTI rep, get it remapped, some nice wheels, some GTI bits on it, and just make it aesthetically look a little bit nicer and give it some love. It definitely needs a service. So we're going to crack on with that as well. Um, but overall, apart from that door, this car is super clean especially for 500 pounds okay so i think that all that's left to do now is take this golf for a drive and show you the main problem with that but before that i am a little bit worried about something
So here, as you can see, I actually have a light on for a bulb. So I am a little bit worried that it might be a brake light. So what I'm gonna do first is head home quickly, plug my Carly in and see if we can diagnose which bulb it is and change that over before taking it for a drive. Okay, so I've just flown home and as you can see, I've got my Carly. So we're just gonna run this through and check what bulb is on the dash. Now, Carly actually has manufacturer level diagnostics, which is super helpful to see if there's any other problems with the car. And it shows you the same results that it would show if you took your car to a main dealer. So this thing is absolutely perfect and so helpful. It can save you so much money because garages charge so much to diagnose your car. So I'm gonna plug this in now and run this through. Okay, so I've just popped in the make a model of my vehicle and now I'm gonna connect it to the car. As you can see. Okay, so the Carly has connected and now I'm just gonna diagnose the car. So it's already saying two issues have been found. So now I'm just gonna run that through and check the ECU. Okay, so the diagnostics have completed and now I'm gonna check the results. Okay, we have got quite a few issues that I didn't know about, but it is so handy having them on here because I can do it from my driveway and I don't have to pay an arm and a leg for a mechanic to do the exact same thing that I can do on my phone. But the issue that we are looking for, and we're gonna go into the other issues on another video, we are looking for the light that is on the dash. Okay, so it has come up straight away. It says lamp for brake light left and lamp for brake light right. That's a mouthful. So both rear brake lights are out and this needs to be sorted immediately because this is super dangerous. So thank you to Carly. I can now just go and get them bulbs and change it straight away. So as you can tell from that clip, only the rear middle brake light is working, which is super dangerous, especially at night time when people can't see braking, it could cause an accident. So I'm gonna swap them over now and hopefully have three working brake lights. Now, as you can see, the light bulb has gone off the dash. And now all my brake lights are working. So a huge thank you to Carly for sponsoring today's video and keeping me safe on the roads. Now that actually isn't all that Carly do. Now they have a feature on Carly called coding where you can actually modify your car. So I'm on the coding and I'm just gonna press continue so i am just checking how compatible this car is for coding and we'll see if there's anything we can do okay so as you can see there is four different sections of modifications that i can do and one of my favorite ones is that you can change the daytime running lights okay so as you can see the options are endless there's daytime running lights the brightness turn signals there's coming home lights this is super exciting but i think i'm going to modify this in the next video so the coding is available on any audi volkswagen groups so mini bmw skoda so if you do have any of these cars be sure to check carly out because it is such a handy tool and in the long run it will save you so much time and money so it's definitely worth checking out so thank you again to carly for sponsoring today's video we have now got the golf back on the road safely now let's head for a drive okay it's now time to take the golf for a drive now i have been loving driving this car like i say i've done 400 miles in it any chance i've got like i drive this as an excuse um it's so comfortable it's very nippy actually i'm not sure whether it's been remapped um but it seemed pretty quick um obviously jesse had his remapped and it feels similar to that so yeah um we're gonna get sheffield remaps out to have a look at it anyway um if it hasn't been mapped we will just map it but yeah i am actually really enjoying it so far so like i say i do want to get um a couple of the gti bits so i'm looking at bumpers steering wheels i need some wheels lower it like i just personally want to do um aesthetic mods to this um obviously with the fiesta people were asking me to modify it but i physically like that is so embarrassing to me i'm sorry to anyone that has done it but on a standard mark 6 fiesta like i just felt too old for it and i know that sounds a bit silly like, i'm only 23 but it's like i think them fiestas are like a first car 
um, and it just felt like a tin can. Like if if me and Jesse were going anywhere, we'd never take that because it's just like don't know. Just I just I don't know. I just felt really embarrassed driving it. Um, and that's not because it's a cheap car or an old car or whatever. This is only a year newer. It just didn't feel like a car to me. It felt like a little literal a li little tin can this has felt like a huge upgrade to me like it feels like an actual car like it's got a lot of torque it's comfortable it's five like five door yeah it's been really really helpful already so i was debating whether to film this video or not but i felt like i've got a new car and everyone's been asking me about it so i thought i'd film a little video i know i said i wouldn't be coming back but i kind of have felt like a bit of excitement for this car that i haven't had with anything i mean i'm more excited for this than the mx5 which is really like worrying <laughs> but yeah i don't know i just really want to do i think the problem with the mx5 is that i wanted to do like um physical modification to it but it needed so much it needed a lot of welding and things and i didn't feel confident um filming in front of people so if I had to go and get it welded, I wouldn't have been able to film it. And I just wanted to do like wheels, body kits and stuff. But obviously it needed a lot of work before that. Where this doesn't need anything. It just needs two wishbones. Which obviously I probably won't do. I will literally just get them fitted and then start modifying it. But I don't know. I'm just really excited for this. I do. I have always really liked Mark 5s though. Um, and I know a lot of people might be saying, oh, why didn't you go for the GTI? The reason for that is I dog walk out of my daily so whatever daily i've got i dog walk out of as you can tell by the hammock in the back so there was no point me spending like four or five grand on a gti that's going to end up just getting dog hair wrecked like jumped up curbs and things so i thought i could get something like this where it's still got a bit of poke to it which it ha actually has to be fair um and something that if it gets a bit muddy it doesn't really matter um but yeah i really want to change the look of it also i didn't really like the silver let me know what you think in the comments to the silver i really wasn't keen on it but it's growing on me and i don't know why because i hate silver cars i had a silver ep3 and i couldn't like i hated the color but yeah i don't know why it's just growing on me also if anyone has anything for sale please do drop me a message on instagram my big account has been banned permanently deleted so i'm super upset about that but uh if you want to follow the new one i'll pop it on the screen here it's g19 type r x um a lot of people don't realize i've got a new instagram so please do follow that because i'm trying to get back to where i was right let me try and see if you can hear the wishbones i don't know if you can hear a little bit of squeaking that's them as well but oh i don't know how well you'll be able to hear that on camera but that bang is literally the wishbones yeah it's, it's actually awful um but the owner did tell us that so that is absolutely fine they're not too expensive actually because mark 5 golfs are that popular that i think the, the parts are so obtainable which is another thing that i actually really like i'd also like to get some gti seats maybe because i've got that cover in the seats i feel like they'd be fine and it doesn't really matter too much anyways but i actually cannot believe that this car only cost me 500 pound like it is such a car for that amount of money i know a lot of people might think mm, it's not but i'm actually so happy with it and i actually sold the fiesta for more than i brought it for uh so yeah i'm i'm literally winning here so yeah we've got the wishbones to do it's definitely also overdue a service by quite a bit so i'm gonna do that myself i feel like i'm not too bad at that now but it just picks up like really quickly for, for like a, just a little Mark 5 Golf, I actually think it's pretty quick. As well, like, you know if I just want to nip to the shops, I'm comfy. But if someone's in front of me doing like 10 miles an hour, I can overtake them because I've got the torque. In the Fiesta, I felt like that person that was doing 10 miles an hour in it because it just was so slow. Oh, I don't know. I just hated it. But yeah, the Fiesta just wasn't working for me. It just wasn't big enough. Uh, the three doors was an absolute pain. It was painfully slow and i just felt like a 12 year old driving it so 
I decided to sell it. Obviously, I got more for it than what I paid, which I am really happy with. And I did actually up my budget for a bit of a nicer car. Like I wasn't, I'm not really bothered about how much a car costs. But this came up and I was like, I absolutely love a Mark V Golf, especially after Jesse's swapping series, because I thought I would hate his one because I was like, oh, Jesse, I don't like this. And then once I drove it, I kept putting on my story, like I hate myself for enjoying this car. Um, but yeah, as soon as this came up, I was like, I've got to do it. It, it drives shockingly at the moment because of the uh, wishbones, but that is such an easy fix. Um, obviously we need to look at the door because I think there is an electric fault because sometimes it does open and sometimes it doesn't and when you're pressing it you can hear it like trying to open so the door's not like broken it's just an electric fault and um, I think you mentioned that it might need a new ball joint but personally I can't hear it and it it seems absolutely fine to me what else it's got no air the aircon doesn't work so for summer maybe we could get that regas but apart from that it's literally perfect I mean it drives amazingly. I am so, so happy with it. And I hope you guys actually do like it as well because I do want to modify this. So let me know in the comments what kind of mods you'd like to see. What wheels should I go for? Um, I'm feeling like a quite a spoky wheel in chrome. I feel like that will look good. And we'll obviously go to the wheel man and get them resprayed or refurred, whatever I end up with. Um, but yeah, I'd like to get it lowered. Um, it's obviously already tinted and things. Yeah, I really want to get some GTI bits and I actually know someone that breaks these, which is super good. But yeah, let me just, let me show you how nippy it is. Like that is actually, that was 70. Like, I don't know why, but it just feels really nippy, which is making me think it has been remapped. The guy also said that it does go into limp mode above 90. Uh, it hasn't actually gone into limp mode for me and I've done 400 miles so far. Um, it's not got an engine light or anything, so I think maybe it's a split boost pipe or something if there is a problem there. But I'll keep you updated with that because I actually haven't experienced it yet. It's unreal on fuel. It's just, I don't know, I just absolutely love it. I feel like round corners, they feel so boaty. Like they feel huge. It's took me like a good couple of days to get used to it. I don't know why as well, but I feel so tiny in this. I don't look it, but I feel like a child. Like I feel really tiny and like comfy in the seats, which is really good. I also might get an exhaust on it. Jesse sounded so funny. Um, I am tempted, but I don't want people to think like, oh my God, that is so chavvy. Because I feel like these cars are quite chavvy. Not like in a stereotypical way, but like anytime I see these it's like a nail like every time I've seen a mark 5 golf it's just a nail <laughs> but yeah overall I am super happy with this car and I'm actually really happy that I've got a daily that I actually enjoy driving because I feel like that's the main thing uh, I, I was ending up like needing the fiesta for work and ending up taking the ep3 which is not good because that's the whole reason I got a daily but because the fiesta was so slow i was like oh like i can't be bothered to be stuck behind people on the way so i'd just be like right i'll take the civic get there like 10 minutes quicker um so it kind of wasn't being used anyway because i was like oh i just don't i didn't even look after it. it just it was getting wrecked and i don't know i just i just needed a change and i know people will say oh another car but i'm not i don't if i'm not happy with something it goes like there's no point like it wasn't getting used anyway and it also has gone to a kid uh for his first car which is literally what they were made for i'm convinced but yeah if you have any suggestions of what i can do to this and like if you've got anything for sale or yeah just any ideas let me know in the comments because i'm actually super excited to start modifying this i have got a couple of bits already um i need some wheels i'm actually i love shopping for wheels um and yeah we'll get will actually modify this because i actually haven't really modified a car um on the channel so yeah we'll start from fresh here service it modify it i am super excited for this um i know it's only a mark 5 golf but we all start somewhere so if you did enjoy today's video please do drop a like comment and subscribe please follow me on instagram i'll leave it here again and i will see you guys in the next video modifying the mark 5 golf see you in the next video